Hey guys, so I just wanted to record a quick what's in my hospital bag for you guys. A couple people have asked me what I'm packing and I also, when deciding what to pack, looked up other people and what they'd be packing in their hospital bags because I wanted to make sure I didn't forget anything. Um, when I had my son, Maximus, who's almost three, he came early by surprise at 34 weeks, so I had no bag packed ready with nothing in the hospital, um, just me, my husband, and our cell phones and whatever we were wearing. But this time, it's actually really fun and exciting to be able to prepare and pack a has hospital bag for my baby girl Levea's arrival. So yeah, check it out. Check out everything I have. So some of this stuff might be extra. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to need to use it all, but I'd much rather have it on hand and um, handy for when she comes, just in case. So check it out and I hope it's useful to you guys. So this right here is an overview of all the stuff I have packed for baby girl's arrival in the hospital. I'm not even sure how much of this stuff I'm going to actually use, but it's fun to pack. And I just packed, I think, light, but I have a little bit of everything in case we need some of this stuff unexpectedly. So I'll just go around and tell you what everything is. Um, these are some velour, really soft um, washcloths that I plan to use in case I want to wipe her down with some water in the hospital. Here is some outfits, cute little pink mittens, a hat, an undershirt. This is um, Burt's Bee Organic Cotton Baby Onesie that she'll be coming home in. And then also like a little sleeper wrap, long sleeves, also made by Burt's Bee. I didn't want to overpack her outfits for the hospital because I wasn't sure actually how much she'd be wearing. But I have plenty here that someone can always grab if needed. Um, these are some premium cotton pads. I actually never thought of these before, but I saw them on another mommy post and I thought this is such a great idea to have in the hospital bag to just put some water on and wipe down the baby's face soft and um, just a nice little cleanse for them. Maybe even yourself. I, I'm sure actually these could probably double as um, nursing pads in case you have that beautiful leakage. Um, here is her custom made blanket that her Nana got for her with her name on it, Lavea Luna, and a little matching hat that she'll be wearing in the hospital. How sweet is that? It's just the sweetest thing. Um, I packed some baby socks, and this is a, one of those um, thin blankets that can kind of work as everything. I'm sure I'll be using it as a nursing cover, a swaddle for the baby, a burp cloth, rag, kind of I guess whatever I need for it at that moment. Over here I have two swaddles to wrap her up in so she can be nice and warm but also feel secure. This is just a cotton one and over here is a nice fleece one. They're both so soft. I love them. I love the colors. Um, over here I packed a zero to th three outfit i figured just in case i don't know she comes out a little hefty or these outfits aren't working this is only slightly bigger and um, i thought it was good to have as a backup plan it's also like a really cushiony jacket so if i want to bundle her up in it when she leaves too i may just use that also and some more mittens this is a amazing soft blanket that I found. I love Marshalls. They are like um, a trouble store for me with all this baby stuff, but it's so soft, so warm, so fuzzy. And I think it's great for use at the hospital, but especially for when we leave the hospital and bundle her up to put her in the car seat. Um, today is January 31st, so it could be any time in February or the beginning of March that she comes, but I'm sure February, so we wanna keep her nice and warm. 
And then I just packed a bundle of newborn diapers. I use Pampers. I was told that, you know, you should bring enough diapers for two days. So I think there's like 40 in there. So I guess we'll see how many would go through. Um, but yeah, this is everything for a baby girl's arrival at the hospital. Just a little bit of everything. It kind of looks like a lot when you lay it out like this, but it's really not. We just have a couple outfits and blankets and looking at all this stuff just makes me so excited for her to come. Okay, so this is an overview of everything I have laid out ready to pack for me for the hospital bag. Some are really essentials and some of it is just things I thought that I'd rather have on hand in case I feel like I need them. I remember after having my son last time, I didn't have a hospital bag packed and um, you really want to feel like fresh and clean. So I packed everything that I thought I could use. And I think it's the perfect amount of stuff, so I'll go over it with you. Obviously, I bought a new toothbrush set, travel size, with some mouthwash and toothpaste, and obvious of why you need that. I have my deodorant packed, so nice and fresh there. Some face moisturizer cream. I actually love this company. It's a vegan cruelty free and it's such a great moisturizer i'll go over that with you guys another time some hand sanitizer which i thought was desperately needed because especially in this flu and cold season i don't want everybody coming to touch the baby even myself i just want to keep using it um as often as possible i have some q-tips some lip gloss just to feel fresh and together when maybe I don't have all full makeup. And here I have my glasses and uh, disposable contacts and the case for that. I bought some travel size of my favorite stuff. This is Dr. Bronner's um, body soap in lavender. It's an all-in-one. This is like multi-purpose stuff. You can use it for everything, but I'm going to be using it for body wash. It's really gentle. Um, this is for sure going to be a necessity, this dry shampoo, because I plan to have my hair straight, hopefully, when she comes. And being in the hospital, I'd rather not have to do it, but if I do, um, I packed my travel size dry bar blow dryer, but hopefully this dry shampoo is going to be my go-to and savior so I don't have greasy, yucky hair. Um, this is Shea Moisture Hydrating Lotion for dry skin. And then, like I said, in case I do want to feel super fresh, um, you never really know how you're going to feel. I got these travel size shampoos and conditioner. Um, yeah, they're supposed to be awesome. So I'm bringing them just in case I want to shower and I just want to feel really clean and new. Um, a travel size hairbrush, which also has, if I can open it, little Mara, pocket size Mara inside, and a brush. So I think that's great. And then obviously, makeup remover wipes, which is a must must every day, no matter what, wherever you are. I even carry a little one in my pocketbook at all times. I packed just two pairs of comfy, cozy sweatpants for me and this is a nursing sweater that I got that I am just in love with. It is so soft and cozy um, but I can just double the sweater for me, a nursing sweater, just something to be comfortable in. I hopefully I'm only there for a couple days so that should be good enough and I'll have a change of some tanks to bring with me too and oh my nursing bra which is in here but definitely want that. Um, I have some fresh pairs of socks for the hospital, some, um, underwear to bring with because you definitely want to keep changing your underwear. And I think they give you pads there, but I also brought maxi super pads, um, after pregnancy. I remember with my son, you just feel like, eh, and I would just like to feel as fresh as possible. And, um, these pads and 
granny panties are a necessity, super necessity. And then I have my self-love favorite from Unique. My girlfriend Heather actually bought that for me. She is a Unique rep and I just love it. But you can see it's like covered in makeup because I use it all the time. But all my makeup necessities are in here. I have that ready to go. That'll probably be in the bathroom until it's last minute and I'll just grab it and run. Also, my wallet packed with my insurance cards, ID. Um, I actually have a list of phone numbers in there for my husband to contact, the people to contact after I have the baby so they know. And then, of course, what would we do without the phone charger to charge the cell phone, which doubles, obviously, as camera. And we'll be using that for sure. So this is everything that I have laid out. There's a couple few last minute things that I want to throw in there but this is a great start and I think we have everything we need. Okay so that's everything I have laid out ready to pack in my hospital bag. I can't wait for my baby girl to come and I really hope that this video is helpful to you. I will also have a checklist that you guys can save to your phones of everything that I put in my bag, maybe even a couple extra things that you might not think of, but you can save it and use it as your own checklist to make sure that you have everything you need in your bag. And again, I don't know how much of this stuff I'm going to be using, but better safe than sorry. Thank you guys so much for checking out my video. Please subscribe, share, help your other mama friends out, get ready for their babies. And I wish you all the best. Have a good day.